Hello everybody. Thought I'd give you a video about what we're gonna do. So we've got our uh, trailer out and it's the first time we've took the awning out since last uh, year. So I'm gonna show you, it's starting to get uh, scuzzy and moldy. So we're gonna mix up some uh, bleach and water give this a scrub and then we're going to rinse it off and then uh, what we're going to do after is we're going to physically measure how long this unit is from the back bumper to the front hitch so stay tuned all right so what we're going to do is we're going to fill this up with fill it up half caleb we're going to fill that up halfway and then we're going to do Actually, that's probably lots. Yeah, stop. That's probably lots. So then we're gonna we're gonna dump that in. That's probably way too much, but we'll we'll dilute it really good. Okay, so let's dump it into the bucket. Hopefully, there's my patch job works with that awesome Gorilla Tape. Okay, now go if you go turn the hose on. Don't leave that in the thing. We'll rinse it out. Yeah, just set it in there. And we're gonna fill this tub up. Probably we'll just fill it up to here. I think. Alright, so what we're gonna do is come here. If you can reach, start up here. Okay. I don't know if this feels like you're at the swimming pool. Looks like we've got something growing in here. Can you see that inside there, Caleb? There's something growing in there. Mm -hmm. Spider web or something. Let's put that Yeah. I think I just squished some spiders. Yeah. Alright, we gave it a good scrub. And a lot of that stuff has come off. There's still some uh, problem areas like that. Maybe grab that squeezy tail and try these kind of darker patches. So what we had is a automotive car wash brush and it's, I think it's just too soft. So here, scrub right here. All right, give that a scrub. And I think that might be permanent. Try up here where these kind of spots are. Looks like little, I think those might be permanent stains, but. Okay, hey, well, we're going to scrub a little more on these problem areas, maybe give them a little pre-rinse. And I busted out the pressure washer because we're going to rinse this nastiness off the front of the Suburban. And we're going to use the soap uh, hook up here. So if you want to grab a bottle of that soap, Caleb, we'll see how this thing works with the soap tip on. All right, we're done. We dumped out the scrubbing water. Uh, we got a little sidetrack, wash the Suburban and the, the truck. You know, not a pro wash or anything, but got all the bugs off of it. We'll show you the awning here. So what we did is uh, we scrubbed it with that bleach solution and let it sit for a while. And then we uh, got the pressure washer out and soaked it in the soap from the pressure washer. Let that sit for a while and I scrubbed it again. And then we, uh, we rinsed it off really good. And I think it looks a lot better. I can't quite tell on the phone here, but um, it, it definitely it had these uh, splotchy lines where I think the uh, awning where the bottom, when it's all rolled up, each layer in the bottom, the water sits there and starts getting moldy. So we're gonna let this dry up. Uh, we're gonna clean up. And then we're gonna measure the trailer. So we'll show you that. All right, we're gonna measure this trailer. Cause I've actually never really done this. So the end of the tape measure is zero, Caleb, okay? So let's see, it's not gonna be a, uh, oh, bad filming here. And see how long this trailer is from back bumper to we're gonna 
guesstimate here. It is You there, Caleb? Yep. It is almost 35 feet long. If you count the back to, uh, spare tire hanging off the, the back bumper, our trailer's 35 feet long. Let's just measure the trailer itself now. Hook on the trailer. All right, so when we book a camping spot, we're gonna say it's 31 feet long. Okay, <laughs> so we tell them it's 35, they might not let us in. All right, anyways, I hope you liked the video. Um, maybe I'll show, give you a, a tour of our camper one of these days. Uh, anyways, bleach, scrub, salt, scrub, and then rinse it off. We actually rinsed it off with a pressure washer, which helped... Uh, get rid of uh, some of those really hard stains there. Anyways, we'll see you on the next one.